Hey, listen, it is great to have you here, but certainly you know that your fight is a little bit debatable at the right. stoppage there. Dana looked to be a little bit frustrated by it. How do you feel about the stoppage when you're able to look back and watch it? I feel like, uh, yeah, slightly it was questionable stoppage. Um, but number one, as a fighter, you never want to put yourself in that situation where you give the opportunity uh, for the ref to jump in, you know? Um, so I, I had to hit him to the body pretty good. Um, and it saved him a lot of damage in the end because at that point, I was gonna have whatever I wanted available to me. He, he was hurt and my next shot was, was to his head. So uh, he got saved there and the end result was gonna be the same either way. So questionable, but inevitable. Adam, you were one of the lower seeds on this show. I mean, what kind of effect does that take on you? And did you feel slighted in any way seeing your seed when the, when the seeds were announced, we're like, what is this? What's going on? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I anticipated uh, at least being in the top half of the seeds, coming from a gym like AKA and, and uh, having the championship belt that I have. Um, I figured I would be within the top eight. Yeah. Um, you know, I heard a little bit, put a little chip on my shoulder, being the number 13 seed. But, you know, lucky number 13. How can you go wrong with that? Sometimes people compete better when they got that chip on their yeah. shoulder. Yes, but sir. listen, you cut your own hair. You do a phenomenal job. But admit, admit it, Adam. You wanted to mess up Demacio's haircut. A little bit. <laughs> I thought about going across the top of the Mohawk yeah, yeah. a little bit. It crossed my mind, but uh, you know, I thought better of it. I wanted to uh, make sure everybody looks good and competes good. You know, as a cast, we all, it's our job to put on the best fights possible. And uh, if a haircut helps somebody be their best on that day, well, that's what I wanted. And uh, I, I want to beat somebody at their best on their best day. So there's no question about, you know, how, how, how I compete, so. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It's a good show of sportsmanship. I don't know if I personally would have done that, but that was very cool. You know, the thing about fighting Demacio at his best, he's certainly a person with a lot of experience, and everybody leading into this, oh, you're taking on this crafty veteran, you're taking on a guy with so much experience. You know, you are older than him in age, but certainly fight-wise, he, he does have more experience. Was that intimidating at all, or did you accept that as part of the challenge? It's part of the challenge. Uh, we're here in the house. Um, we all have seeds assigned to us, but if you feel that you're the best, like I do, I feel that I'm the best, I should be able to go out and beat any guy in the house on any day. So yeah, he's got experience, but I have my own experience as well. So let's put it to the test and, and, and see, see where we end up. That's how I went at it.